What's up guys? Today I am going to show you what is hands down the best sweet potato recipe you've ever had. Uh, consequently, this is also going to be a very healthy recipe for sweet potatoes, so it's not going to be like a Thanksgiving dessert style sweet potato. Hopefully you weren't expecting that on this channel anyway though. Before we dive into the recipe, I did want to tell you guys something that I found very interesting. And that is, uh, rice is actually pretty bad for you. So for a long time, I assumed that if you bought plain white rice, it was in fact plain white rice, and I was plain wrong. So, there's that. If you're buying Uncle Ben's rice, or you're buying some other um, style of boxed rice, that just claims to be just rice, look at the sodium content. It's absurd. Rice should not have that much salt in it. There are also uh, various chemicals that they use when they're growing rice. Um, it's the same with wheat. It's getting to be just as bad as wheat. Uh, that's why people have gluten allergy for the most part. It's because of the way wheat is grown now. So now that I know all that, I've pretty much eliminated it from my diet. And just to be clear, you can still buy clean white rice. It's just more expensive. You just can't be buying it from a box. That's just, it's not good. Um, ready rice, all that stuff. It's just, it's, it's processed. It's just trash. So knowing all this stuff, I decided to cut out white rice, brown rice, all rice completely and replace it with quinoa and sweet potatoes. So now quinoa and sweet potatoes are my two carb sources, my two main carb sources. And I am so much leaner than I was when I was eating rice. And it's not just about the way I look, guys. I, it's, it's all around benefits. Um, I feel sharper. I feel more functional in my workouts. When I have a high carb day, I don't feel sluggish. I don't feel lethargic. I can eat sweet potatoes without getting that high carb bloat. So I'll end my rice rant with this. If you're eating brown rice and white rice, switch your brown for a sweet potato or quinoa and switch your white rice to white potatoes. Just see what happens when you take rice out. I had a really good change with it. Um, and I would recommend you guys trying this. So unfortunately, I had the bright idea to make this video after I'd already cooked these sweet potatoes. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a sweet potato and you're going to slice it down the middle, very, very thinly, just like this. Once you've got it, once you've got them sliced, um, oil the pan. Uh, I just use regular olive oil or avocado oil or something like that. And place them flat and then you'll put them in the oven. The oven's at 375. So when you put them in the oven on 375, you'll bake them for 11 minutes You'll pull them out, you'll flip every single one of them over, and then you'll bake them again for 11 minutes. So now I'm gonna take them all off of the pan and put them in a regular meal prep container or whatever you wanna put in them so that you can season them. And once you've seasoned them, you'll shake them and they're done. So we've got pepper, pink salt, cinnamon, and garlic salt. That's what I'm gonna be seasoning them with. Uh, just a little bit of each. Just a few twists on the salt. Just a light, a little sprinkle of the garlic salt. Uh, we'll do pepper next. A good bit of pepper. I don't have a problem with pepper. Try not to do too much salt, but um, you do want a little bit of flavor. Um, and then cinnamon. A lot of people think garlic, salt, and cinnamon will not be a really good combo, but it is perfect on sweet potatoes. It's actually really, really good. The next thing you're going to do is close them up tightly and shake them. Now you want to shake them pretty gently because they are baked and they're soft and you don't want to make like a sweet potato mush. And then they're done. So with the baking, the seasoning, the shaking, and the seasoning and all that stuff, it took about 25 minutes. I really recommend you guys trying this recipe out. It's great for people to have a sweet tooth. And that's all I got for you guys today. Just my little quick and easy sweet potato obsession. Um, if you guys have tried this recipe before, don't tell anybody. I want credit for this. Um, but I will be back with another video soon. Thank you guys for watching.